Hello, I'm Matthew Stropes with Denison Yachting. Today, we're in Cancun, Mexico. I'm gonna take you on a full tour of this 2007 Cabo 48 named Taz. One of my biggest passions in life is traveling the world, fishing high stake tournaments, both as an angler and as a captain. To have any chance at the podium, your sport fish has to have the proper equipment. But more importantly, you need confidence that they will perform reliably. Today, we're gonna to show you all the reasons why this Cabo 48 has exactly what it takes. The entire design of the Cabo 48 revolved around our first destination. Anglers simply refer to it as the pit. Everything is won and lost right here. The cockpit is 144 square feet, enough space for multiple anglers to guide their fish to the corners. She has the power to back down on a fish without compromising the quick response needed for tight maneuvering. At the stern, plenty of room for sardines, cabalitos, and mackerel in the 48-gallon bait tank. Getting your trophy fish into the boat is easy using the big game door. An obvious essential is the centerline Pomponet rocket launcher. She also has a Pomponet 130-class fighting chair, specifically designed for tournament fishing. Insulated fish boxes offer more than enough capacity for a full day's catch. Both are macerated and the port side fish box has dual freezer plates. Padded bolsters line the cockpit for extra comfort and security when fishing stand up. To port and starboard underneath each combing is a great place for storing gaffs and other oversized items. Forward in the cockpit, beginning on the port side, there's a deep freezer that can also be used as a fridge. Adjacent to that is your bait prep station, complete with a sink and a tackle center below. To starboard, more storage. Also in this corner is a fusion remote in a small compartment hiding resettable breakers for the fish box macerators, live well pump, and underwater lights. Also on either side, we have waterproof plugs for deep dropping, sword fishing, or pulling dredges. Forward center line, we have the engine room access. Taz has the one engine package that everyone wants, Caterpillar C18s, combining to produce over 2,000 horsepower, giving us a cruising speed around 30 knots and a top end of 36 knots. Caterpillar has become the global standard for many sport fish and motor yachts because of their quality and reliability, but another benefit is the availability to obtain parts and service no matter where you may be in the world. This should be factored into your buying decision. If like me, your dream is to pursue the largest fish in the most distant corners of the globe. Common sense guides the engineering down here. Quiet systems were mounted forward, but louder items like the compressor and generator were placed as far aft as possible from the staterooms. Let's take the ladder on the port side up to the convertible flybridge. The centerline helm station gives the captain a clean line of sight in all directions. Equipped with three Garmin GPS displays, including a huge 24 inch display to starboard. With the KVH in motion SAT TV, the display can stream Sunday football while running out to the fishing grounds. Beneath the large Garmin display, you have two VHF radios and a fusion head unit. Further port is the Garmin Autopilot, Spotlight Control, and Manual Override Engine Controls. In the unlikely event, you experience a transmission malfunction. Palm Beach Control is at the helm, with two CAT engine displays nearby, and the bow thruster is on the port side. There's a comfortable bench to port that leads us to more seating facing forward. Storage is under each seat and below the helm in the doghouse. JL speakers are located throughout the flybridge and down in the cockpit. A Garmin HD radar is perfect for picking up birds at a long distance. Another crucial tournament tested feature on board are the triple spreader outriggers, rigged for both teaser and dredge. For safety, she has west coast bow rails that begin midship and run all the way forward to a bow pulpit where we find the anchor and windlass with a built-in washdown. Let's move inside. With teak and holly flooring, upgraded leather seating, and gorgeous woodwork throughout, the yacht quality is evident without any of the unnecessary frills. At the entrance to starboard is the main electrical panel. Below, we have an ice maker and bottle storage. A leather sofa at the port provides a comfortable place to come inside and escape the heat. Some boats will lower the blinds to help keep the salon cool. Others install tent, but that actually absorbs the heat. 
our Cabo 48 has a product called V-Cool, a material that reflects the heat, keeping it nice and cold in here, but also prolonging the longevity of all the interior woods and fabrics. We even go a step further by keeping these tables undercover with custom felt lining designed to increase air circulation. For the starboard, we have a dinette with an upgraded TV connected to a Bose sound system. You need a functional galley where you can quickly prepare your ceviche and have easy cleanup afterwards. Equipped with a stainless sink, hidden two burner cooktop, convection microwave, and four sub-zero drawers that can be any combination of fridge or freezer. In every yacht, there will always be underutilized space, but the best manufacturers figure out clever ways to make the most of these areas. Ford in the galley, deep drawers are on roller casters, so anything you have in here is easy to access. And in my experience, I've never seen storage capacity like we have underneath the floor in the galley. Now we'll move down below into the staterooms. As we continue forward to port, we have the owner's stateroom. A walk around queen bed with ample storage underneath, cedar line hanging closet, and TV outboard. A few steps forward is the private ensuite for the master. Exiting the owner's stateroom, we're moving forward into the VIP. Another comfortable queen bed and more storage overhead, cedar line hanging closet to port with Satie to starboard. And the VIP ensuite is after starboard. This also functions as the day head accessed from the hallway on the starboard side. Staying on the starboard side, as we continue aft, we enter our final guest stateroom. This layout is flexible, serving as a cruise stateroom for the captain and mate, or it also works well for extending cruising with the family. This stateroom also has a combo washer dryer. Thank you for joining us to check out this 2007 Cabo 48 named Taz. Contact me at any time to schedule a viewing of this boat or for more information. Thank you.